So I need a new outfit, Churchill. A new outfit. But where might I find... The two folks I'm supposed to be seeing. Was it Chanel and Milano, I think? Well, hopefully one of them will have some... Um, oh god. Uh, rads. Some... Um, Sense of style, maybe. Hmm. All right, let's have a look here. What have we got? <gasps> right away. Useful. Mr. Sh Mr. Strong? What is Mr. Str Strong? Hello, Churchill. Hmm. Clarity Classic. It's drugs, and I won't be taking them. Cider. No. All right, so are they in... What? What? Is this, like, paint? It looks like... It looks a little bit like blood. I'm not sure. I'm really... A fan of it but aha here they are okay so uh hello milano welcome welcome to casa di milano what can i do for you well um hmm oh does he have clothes out um patrick smith's sent me really Mm -hmm. I was intrigued when you walked in the door, but now I'm interested. Go on, interest me some more. Okay. I mean, your clothing looks very clean. That's one thing. Um, I need to consider, consider my options. Consider them, but you'll quickly see why my fashion is really the only option to meet your needs. Okay. Can I have a little look around? Oh. Do you have any clothing? Um, okay. Have you got more clothes up here? Can I? Huh. Okay. Um, not really seeing anything that de that demonstrates your clothing. Rag and bone merchants. We buy and sell any old rubbish. There you go, Churchill. Brilliant. Um, so what about another one of these? Hmm. Yes. Bigger on the inside, maybe. Well, whatever. Uh, How... Hmm. Curiosity is leading me down a path here. Oh. Well, thanks for the rounds. Sorry about the death, but, well... Okay, so who... You're just a resident. Alright, don't mind me. So, this is the other clothier. Um, I mean... Chanel. I like Chanel's dress. Please go away. I despise beggars. <gasps> hmm. And I despise bints, but here we are. Out. Your filth isn't welcome here. Well, you were rude. Rude woman. Very rude. Nice dress. Very rude. I'm going to Milano. Rude. You win. I knew you'd be back. She's awful. Uh, here's the purchase order. What are you going to give me? Let me see that, would you? Well, this might be a problem. He doesn't mention money at all. Oh. Hmm. Yeah, well, yeah, I suppose if... Hmm. Yeah. He's got the royal purse strings, so you'll get your tickets. An IOU, even from a prince doesn't keep the lights on but that attitude of yours might be able to help me in another way oh, okay i have a few discreet errands that i need someone capable to run of course take care of these trifles and i'll be deck you in a garb that will make even king davies jealous uh, what trifles exactly just pick up some fabric for me mm. it was erroneously sent to cher chanel while you're there, you should also speak to the local shop attendants. The Chanel displays uh, need an update. 
if you know what I mean. Oh. Finally, stop by Greta's place. I know she's supposed to walk in Chanel's show, but I need her that day. And any other day Chanel might want her. The specifics are up to you, but please do be discreet. Um, hmm. Does sound a little bit like sabotage, but quite frankly, she was very rude, so yep, yeah, that's fine. Three tasks like a three piece suit. Perfect. Bangle one piece and everything unravels. Return once both our designs are complete. All right. Do you know, tri no, Churchill, I knew it wouldn't be trifles with custard and cream. It would be. It would be something more. Well, less enjoyable okay so do we have to do this sneakily do you suppose mm. ah <coughs> cough all you want ah there we go so so i need to talk to this person Good day. florence hello what can i do for you um hmm Hmm. I wonder. Don't I have some armor that will pop up, pop up my perception? Let's just have a look. Okay. Can I? Thank. Can I? Thank you. Okay. Let's just have a look. I'm sure. I had some April. Ah, it was charisma and intelligence. Hmm. Well, that, that, that is an irritant, isn't it? Maybe we put up our charisma a little bit. We could be a bit more charismatic. Good day. What can I do for you? Uh, oh. Well, take down those ugly outfits in the window. Ah, oh, yes, well, the, the customer's always right, after uh -huh. all. Um, hmm. Well, we can try it. Are you blind? The lights are all wrong and the colours are bleeding. Oh, tosh. I should have guessed by your outfit that you have no idea what you're talking about. Hmm. The clothes in the windows display are a bit off, aren't they? I beg your pardon. That happens to be the latest fashion. Hmm. Judging by your apparel, I presume that may be lost on you. But we can certainly find something that fits your... Well, I guess you'd call it a style. Don't be rude. They're very rude in here. Well, oh, just kidding. Let's talk about something else. Never mind. Let's, um... I'm just browsing. Forget it. Thank you very much. Um... Well, not ideal. Not ideal. But, well, maybe there's a... Maybe there's a way around it. Stop Greta from walking in the Chanel show. Hmm. The fabric. We need the fabric as well. Don't we? Is the fabric... Is the fabric here? <coughs> Churchill. Oh, yes. Hello! Roundled. Can I just... Oh. Hmm. And you're, you're not going to let me... Take it, are you? Are you? Could you clear off? Oi, can I help you? You're getting in the way. Oh. Um, hmm. I'm uh, here to see a man about some fabric. You must be the poor lad what's holding all this inside. Sign here. Oh, well, thanks. Bye. Apologies. Guess we both need to pay more attention. All right. No need for that. Do you know what I'm going to do as well? I'll have a sniff around up here. She got anything worthwhile? What? New. New. How would she get something new? Okay. Chessboard. Hmm. Wow. Considering that she's supposed to be like a successful clothier. She's not, um... Take the dirty water. I don't really want the whiskey. 
apparently carrying too much for crying out loud. Um, what have I got that I can just ditch? Hmm. Anything in junk? Anything that's massively heavy, I suppose. Mr. Strong, well, goodbye, sir. And maybe the cooking oil doesn't really have much. The roundel, what do I want the roundel for? That's the question. Bah, get rid of the cooking oil. Never mind, she can have that garbage. Okay. Right, so we need to go and convince this other woman to, um, to not walk in this show. Is she over here? What? Doesn't, doesn't, doesn't matter. So... What? Is she in here? Hello? Huh? What? Where, where are you? Around here? Hello? In here? Can we... No? Okay. Um... Hello? What's going on? No! Should have just run. What? Well, I mean, don't worry about it. It's a leech. It's not exactly the nicest thing on the planet. Ugh. It looks like poop. It looks like a poop. Okay. So does she live in here somewhere? Ah, down here maybe. The wolf and pork. The scooter shed. Can we... Really? The shop. I'd better put this away, hadn't I? Um, hello. Roundel Apprentice. Roundel Apprentice and Roundel Apprentice. So this is like a scooter shop? There are scooters? Okay. So where's this woman? Ah, she's in here. You know, Churchill, I get the feeling that there's going to be more trifles in here. And it's still not going to be the type with custard and cream. Oh, it's it's like a hotel. Okay. Um. Well, come on then, Churchill. I think she's saying she's upstairs. Hello. Um. Are you all right? Okay. So she's up here somewhere. Oof. Wow. Hey. Oh, it's like an old bowling place. Bowling alley. Okay. So she's in here. Uh, hello? Oh! Lundgren. Hello there. Hello. Um. Hello. Oh, another fan. I don't sign weird body parts anymore. Um. Pff, okay. Well, I'm here to talk about your upcoming show. Which one? Milano's or Chanel's? Because if either wants me in another outfit, we're going to talk about my pay. Oh. Um, you're not walking in Chanel's show. And why not? Um, because it makes business sense. You've got my attention. You won't be able to make any money, but that sounds threatening. And if you're only working for one designer, you have time to find a real job. No! Oh, neither situation sounds good. Well... How dare you speak to me like that? Now you can negotiate with Lundgren instead. Well... She's the reason I'm so crumbs. skinny. She only Whoa. pays me in clothes. I can't eat a jacket. Well, you can, but I don't recommend it. Okay, this is, this is, this is, this is out. Okay. Alright, this is, this is not good. This is awful. Um... I, uh, maybe, maybe, pff, famished steak, much as I absolutely, 
flame of fuel. Ugh. Well, okay. She has a tea station. Can we make tea? We got nothing to make tea. Oh, God bless it. I wanted tea. There we go. Well, never mind. Uh, what else is in here? Anything of any interest? A lock box Must with be a good day. Prince Pete's music choice. Oh, Ooh, madam. Happy. Your skirt. Well, are you willing to talk now? Right, all right. Fine. The show's off. And all future shows. I'll only work for Milano from now on. Oh, well, there you go. It kind of worked out. It was a little violent. I mean, I didn't really want to do that. But those were my options. Really insult you or just threaten you, so... <coughs> hmm, thought that was something of interest. All right, well, um... Sorry about that, folks. Let's just have a little look around in here. Hello! Ooh. Is this like a bar type deal? Uh, Luthborough. What'll it be? Uh, what have you got? Take a look. Well, uh, thanks. Goodbye. Only foodstuffs, but... But not bad. Oh, it's a boiled sweet. I did wonder. Quite a large boiled sweet. Something, you might as well not exist. Well, your clothes shouldn't be saying something. If your clothes are talking, dear, then, um, yeah. I'd be worried. <laughs> oh, these fashionistas. It's all about the look, isn't it? It's all about the look. Nothing else. Hello. Nice helmet. Ooh. Well... Never mind. I almost hope Miller attacks again. I want to off him and little boys for everything they've done. That sounds... That sounds... Weird. Just going to put that out there. It sounds weird to say that. You want to off the... Yeah. Just... Churchill, I think we're done here, mate. This is kind of ridiculous. What's in here? Office. When the sun's in your eyes, even you look proper dressed. <sighs> so bloody rude. It's unbelievable. Come on, Churchill. All right. Well, job done. Not in the way I would have liked to have done it, Churchill, but do you know what? Okay, so where is this bloody... Fashionista once more. Down this way, I believe it was. Hello. Don't step in the water. No more leeches attacking people. That's good. Giant legendary leech. What? Oh, there. Oh, really? Oh, God. It doesn't really seem to be doing much um, by way of damage here. But... Okay, Churchill, just be careful, mate. Don't, um... Ugh. Martin... Martyr's hooligan chess piece. Okay, um... S temporarily slows time during combat when you are at 20% or less health. Ah! Interesting. We'll take the legion. Churchill? Ch what are you doing over here? You found the cake shop. Um. I Churchill. I think I've taken some drugs. Let's go. We'll just leave it. Just leave it. We need to go and see Mr. Fashion Man, anyway. Oh, hello. Didn't realise you were not a... Um, not a person that we would have liked. Where are you going? You can't just run off. And hide. That's just silly. Isn't it? That's very silly.
Churchill. I... This place has been chaos since day bloody one. We've been spoken to very rudely by everybody. We've been told that we don't dress nice. We've been sent on a wild goose chase for trifle that wasn't actually trifle. Good God. All right. Any hello. Complications? Uh, well. It's done. Now about my clothes. To the point, I see. Excellent. A pleasure doing business with you. Give Patrick my regards. And do come back. Now that I've got your measurements, I'll see that you're always properly attired. Oh, all right. Ballistic Weave. You have unlocked the Ballistic Weave Armor Mod. Apply it to your clothing at any armor workbench. Marvelous. Ballistic Weave. Certainly will be handy. Roundel Alley Battle Coat. Well, all right. Thank you for um, for that. So I have to put on this battle coat. Let's have a look at this thing. Uh... Oh, it's taken off all my bloody armour. Of course it has. Well, this just feels like it might be ridiculous. Churchill. Let's have a look. Um... Yeah. Don't know if it's really me, but that's fine. Well, while we're wandering over there, let's put on our proper attire in order to be able to move. Uh, so, painted metal chest piece. We picked up a chest piece. Ah, but it wasn't pocketed. Hmm... Well, all right. Let's um, let's go and see this fella then, and then um, see what he wants to talk to us about. I'm sure it'll be. Oh yes, I'm sure it'll be um, thrilling. What's going on here? Hearing lots of gunfire. Oh dear, what's happening? What's going on? Hello? Who are you? You're a resident. Oh, well, whatever it was, it's over. Brilliant. All right. So, where is this? Is he... What? In here? Oh, all right. The Wolf and Port. Um... Hello. Oh, I've just realised I need to put on my put on my attire. Um, there you are. How do I look? Manchester Mike, Roger Moon. Pull your hat out your eyes. Get it properly fitted, you numpty. Well, I'm trying to see your your gentleman in the corner there, but you're all are in the way. Dennis Blanford. Dennis, can I? Thank you. Joan. So, uh, uh, hello. Can I? Excuse me, you are in the way. But well, it's better. Meet me at the shop. I'll take you to see Prince Davies. Okay. Do I really need to wear this? For the shop, yes. For Prince Davies, why not? What's that supposed to mean? Prince Davies isn't quite who he used to be. Okay. Well, I think you'll see what I mean when you talk to him. Uh, all right. Well, fine. All right. I suppose we'd better put the coat back on, hadn't we? Doesn't suit me at all, but never mind. Don't mind me, folks. Um, can I pop? through here? Yes, I can. Okay. Doctor. There's a doctor here. Hmm. Might be worth paying him a visit. Alright, here I am. Here I am. Wait for the light. What light? There's a light? That light? Now we go. 
Well, all right. That seems a little finickety. Should I sit down or what? Prince Davies, I present the brave new Roundel who turned the Dude, he's, tide he's at the here. Battle of the Hurly Burly. Ah, the Tide Turner, the wandering wrong number, the battle brazen ball buster of Miller's men. Come in, come in. You might be coming on a bit strong, my prince. Fuck. Oh, well. Hope I didn't offend you. Is he on drugs? Um. Are you okay? Right as fucking rain. So long as the chems are on time. Oh, you're a chem addict. Prince Keith has been especially hard on us all. The prince sometimes uses aids to help ease the pain. Um. Yeah, sorry to hear of his passing. What happened? He was a hero. Adonis. Hercules. Richard the Lionhearted. Robin Hood. Arthur. Miller mercilessly struck him down at the Battle of the Bang Bang. Prince Pete rallied us and got us to safety. Without his leadership, the Roundels would be no more. My hand held his head. The half that wasn't split off by Miller's bloody hammer. Oh it's dear. Okay, my prince. No, it's not. Keith, where's Keith's body? What did you do with him? I need to be with him. Maybe we can save him. D Moon knows all sorts of things. Maybe he can save him, Patrick. Maybe he can save him. I think we should take some comics. You'll feel better, Prince Pete. I'll hold him. Jab him in the arm gently. Um, it probably would be better for him to get it out, you know, instead of just doping him up all the time. Yeah, it's better to let him get his feelings out. That's not really safe for him. What do you mean? Well, yeah, I know what he's going through. He can't get over it by muting the pain. Fine, couldn't hurt to try. Well, hurt worse. There you Time go. For us to take our leave. I swear the sun rises earlier when you're out dancing. I mean, it wasn't really much of a conversation, mate. It's probably best you speak with Mike or Dennis. While they're not princes, they basically run the day to day. <sighs> well, why don't you tell me about yourself instead? Me? Yeah. I'll help where it's needed, but especially for Manchester Mike, and by extension, Prince Pete. Even Dennis relies on me from time to time. If you ever need me, you can usually find me with Mike around Marb House. All right, well, tell me about Mike, it's then. It's a complicated situation. While we frown on chems, there is a time and a place for them, as you just saw. Mike supplies the roundels, especially Prince Davies, but he also makes sure we don't go overboard. Without him, Prince Davies would likely source his own way to relax. And that means questionable sources and likely higher quantities. Well, tell me about Dennis, then. Well, you've already met him. A straight arrow on the surface, but he's not afraid to take bold action if he thinks it'll help the roundels. Some people think he goes too far, especially when it comes to his loyalty to Pete. But maybe you could convince him there's a better course. Hmm, well, sounds like I know who I need to talk to first. Their views on how to help the Roundels are very different. I doubt you can help them both with whatever their plans are. We'll see. Come on, Churchill. This, this... This has grown arms and legs and heads and all the rest of it. I just wanted to go... To Islington to find out where I came from. But do you know what? Maybe we could speak to the doctor first. Hello? Is there a doctor here? No, I think they're all in bed, are they not? Can I sleep here? I could, but it'll. Every day we take a little piece back of what we lost. One of you, Dr. Sparky. Hello? Can you wake up, sir? Wish to speak to you. Need help? Oh, gods. Um, 
Yeah, actually. Fix me up a little. Um, I think it's radiation. To the right place. Let's get rid of all that. Ooh, okay. Take care. Oh. Well, have you got any you. medical supplies that I could purchase? I might have what you're looking for. Okay. All right. Hmm. Well, thank you. Very good. Right, Churchill, come on. Let's move it. Good lord. This place. These people. Got a drugged up prince up there. Not doing anybody any good. You got workers here. Clinging onto the fence, not feeling great. Come on. I think um, we'll go and speak to the real leaders, eh?